Autumn Grace, what do I got for you? I wish I wouldn't have dumped it out of that bag though. <laughs> Looks like there's some pretty decent stuff in there. Uh, actually, there's a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> I'm going to set the camera off so it doesn't fall down to the dumpster. I'll show it to you when I get it out. Uh, that's quite a load right there. That's That might be about seven or eight pounds. <laughs> There's a ton of stuff in there. Let me know if you want that, Autumn. Well, I stopped turning the camera on because these big square flower pots. I was going to snatch them up, but look at dog. Dog chewed on the corners, so. Oh, well. Look at this. Got me a lucky horseshoe. You think about that? There was a rat's nest in there. As in a bunch of bundled up wires. <laughs> I better clarify that. That's why I can't have gaming chairs in my house. Cats think they're scratching posts. <laughs> Those are too beat up for anything other than leave here. Maybe somebody will come get them. I certainly can't have them in my house. Well, I could, but it'd, <laughs> they'd be all tore up. Now, there's something you don't see every day. <laughs> In the middle of this giant parking lot. Uh, what a weird thing, huh? Some creator will come and take that just within a matter of an hour or two after the sun goes down. If a Roman dog don't come and take care of it first. <laughs> <clears throat> Got some Xbox action and a power brick. And the AV cord, it looks like. Let's see what else is in there. Ah, and a hard drive. Good. I don't see any games. It's alright, I'll take it. You guys want some of that right there? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Got the green light. But it does have a sticky tray. And I, it seems the red ring when the tray sticks. So I probably won't be able to sell it as, you know, get full price out of it. But a little bonus disc in there, a little FIFA Soccer 12. And, uh, Let's see if it'll red ring. Uh, that worked pretty good that time. It's not perfect, but it's still got some value to it. Yeah, it's not. There it goes. But, uh, oh well. Still got some good stuff in there. Little shower door action. Just take some screws off the corners there, and the aluminum will all come off. I, I do it in the dumpster. I mean, I don't, I'm not going to get in there, but I'll go over to the other side and just reach in there and take the screws out. Because sometimes that glass will shatter and just, just pop all over the place. So if that happens, you want it to be in here. So see how easy that comes up there. Just like that. I'll just do the whole thing in there. There's the finished product. That's both doors. It's really kind of, those were kind of lightweight ones. It's, it's only like maybe three or four pounds. But look at this. <laughs> Here's one door right here. And I did the first one and laid it down there and the second one slipped out of my hands. And, I and look at that. 
That's just totally shattered. So, <laughs> even though that was lightweight aluminum, I'm, I'm still happy that, that I didn't do that out here and spend the next 20 minutes picking little pieces of glass up. So, <laughs> I'll take it. All right, there it is during the day. <laughs> I didn't get a very good picture of it last night. Definitely would be bad if it was out here in the yard or the parking lot. Yeah, a little flat screen TV action going on. I don't think I've shown you guys the gold plated circuit board in there. Take that home and crack it open for you. I noticed my metal scrapping tips videos weren't as popular as my dumpster diving videos. So it seems like you like the action of dumpster diving. So I figured I'd just put these metal scrapping tips into the dumpster diving videos. And you know, that way that might be a little more enjoyable for you. There's a gold plated strip board in every flat screen TV and monitor. And that's usually going to be around the top. And it's going to run the whole length. Sometimes they're a little shorter. And sometimes they're in a little different spot. Usually they'll all be along the top. So what I'm going to do first is just take out these screws around the side. And just take off that plastic cover. And I'm just going to do that off camera. Because there's no sense in making this video any longer than it needs to be. I forgot to mention this. This is actually an older TV. I can't believe I'm saying that a flat screen is an older TV. But <laughs> it's not. it's not a... It's not a recent model. It's it's a lot thicker than the, than the newer ones, and it had a few more screws than the normal than the newer one would have. And this is what it's going to look like inside. And uh, the newer ones won't have all that chunky stuff in there like that. It's it's much more streamlined. But uh, the strip board. It's gonna be the entire length here. And this one's actually got a real big one in there. That's the entire length of this TV. And uh, what I'm gonna do is just chop these cords off. Get rid of that. And uh, I'm gonna take some more screws out here. There's gonna be screws here. And I need to release this metal plate so I can get that out of there. And there's gonna be some little tiny screws on the strip board and sometimes you can just pop them out of there without breaking the board too much you know you don't have to even take the screws out but I might have to take those out I'm gonna do that off camera I took those four screws out of this metal plate and uh, actually there was eight screws I guess I took that plate off and these TVs really, they're not very valuable at all. I'm just showing you this because those gold plated boards are pretty cool. But you know, that circuit board, none of these circuit boards are really worth much. I mean, they're worth a little bit, but there's nothing to, there's nothing to write home about. And that insulated wire on there is not very valuable. And then there's going to be some tin metal and sometimes these will be made out of aluminum. But they're really not worth a whole lot. But uh, then I took this, got a little screwdriver and little itty bitty screws. And sometimes you can just take a flathead screwdriver and just pop that circuit board out just around those screws. But a lot of times the gold plate will actually be around the screw hole and it'll crack there and you'll lose gold plates. So I took those screws out and then you got this board and that's the, that's the board right there and it's going to be attached to these ribbon wires along that gold plated strip. And just take it off and, and those ribbon wires aren't nothing they just maybe got some little copper in there maybe it's, they're not worth anything and then take this off and see you're gonna have some gold plated teeth on that so that's a good little dude and then there's the board it's uh there's not a lot on there you know i mean like here and a couple other places. This board actually doesn't have a whole lot on it. A little bit in through here. And you know here and here. And it's, this has got a nice strip here. And 
Sometimes it's actually going to be like a gold flashing, but I'm pretty sure this is actually legitimate gold plate, and it's probably gold plate as being it's an older model TV. But you know, I I just throw those in my gold plated circuit board a lot and sell it on eBay. You know, and I'll probably like throw these in with them, you know, and just make a listing saying. You know, it's this much weight of these, and this much weight of these, and this much weight of those, and just sell, sell a bunch of it in one big old lot, and be done with it. And a lot of the scrapyards won't take like the screens and stuff. So if you want to take that metal to a scrapyard, you'll have to. You now your scrapyard might be different, but every scrapyard around here doesn't take those screens. And actually I've heard that there's places, areas where the screens are actually valuable for scrap. So, you know, I, I don't know about where you live, but where I live, I got just throw that screen in the garbage. I don't have anywhere I can sell it to, so. I guess that's that. There's my cat, Chotch. What's up, Chotch? <laughs>